Hi, I'm Valerie, and this is one of my ideal finds. Because today is National Tea Day, I'm going to show you how to make this nice clear glass of iced tea using my Mr. Coffee Maker, even though it has a broken pitcher, by using a different pitcher. Today I'm going to show you how I can still use my Mr. Coffee Tea Maker to make the best glass of iced tea even when my pitcher that came with the coffee maker has developed a leak. I tried using some special tape that was supposed to fix some seals and it did not work. Um, so I have resorted to using a different pitcher, but I do still keep this around because this is part of my tea making process. Um, so now I'm using the old style of Pampered Chef pitcher, um, but you can see that there is a height difference here. So what I've done is I have elevated my tea maker on a block of wood that gets me to the right height for um, using this pitcher. So what I want to start out by doing is putting some of this water in here, but not all of it, just until the point that it is right under the point where it's going to start leaking out because we don't want to make a mess all over our counter. Um, so then the rest of it, I actually dump into my broken pitcher. Um, the leak is actually more up in the top part of it, so I can still put some water in this. Um, and I usually get it to the point where it's at the, um, the two quart mark um, on, on the original pitcher. So I think between the, the two amounts, it's probably about 10 cups of water. I don't ever measure it. Um, I just kind of, I fill this one till it's as full as I can get it, and then I, I put that one at the two quart mark on the original pitcher. Um, so then I, I can, I'm able to um, seat the, the Pampered Chef pitcher right underneath of the, the outlet there in my basket. I have two tea bags of the Lipton Cold Brew and two tea bags of the Lipton Green Tea. Um, I just layer those black green, black green, and I put it in there and push the button and let it do its first round of magic. Now that we've gone through the first round of water in our tea maker, then we'll make sure that the basket is empty. And we'll dump the rest of our water in. And start it on round two. And while that's going through, I'm going to fill this up with ice. As the second round is going through, then I want to add my Pampered Chef lid to this and put the ice on top of that. And I do that because as the hot tea melts the ice, then, um, then it, it adds extra water to the tea. Um, but I put the, the ice on top of the mixing pitcher lid because um, if the ice is underneath of it, then my handle doesn't go down all the way and then it won't fit in my fridge. But more than likely, the ice is all going to melt for the most part before I go to put it in the fridge anyway. You'll see as it's um, as it's getting made that um, this tea ends up really really clear and that is because I use reverse osmosis water and I also use ice cubes that are made with reverse osmosis water. So there's no sediment in the water at all and it just makes a really nice clear glass of tea. Now that all of the tea has drained from the basket then we will Put the lid on. You can see that most of the ice has melted. And we will pour a perfect glass of tea. Look at how nice and clear that is. I dump it in the pitcher like normal. That's not how 
how I do it. <laughs> million times and I have never done that. Let me clean this up. <laughs> 